This is your Fox 10 News Now update. Hello, I'm Steve Alexander with your Fox 10 News Now update. Baldwin County now reporting its first case of COVID-19 at North Baldwin Infirmary. The hospital in Baymanet says the patient is isolated at home after testing positive. That brings the total number of cases in Alabama up to 12. According to the Alabama Department of Public Health, with 28 people tested as of Friday, and that includes a case which was confirmed not long ago in Jefferson County. More than 156,000 people have been sickened globally, with more than 5,800 deaths. In the United States, at least 2,700 people have been infected, and 54 people have died. And the first coronavirus case in our area now confirmed by North Baldwin Infirmary. Infirmary health leaders say the infected person was screened and tested at their hospital with a kit provided by LabCorp and is now under quarantine at home. Fox 10 News spoke with a man who claims to be the infected person. He's 21 years old and said he had just returned from a trip to New York City and started feeling so sick he couldn't eat. Now, we do not want to reveal his identity since neither Infirmary Health nor the State Health Department have named the person who has contracted the virus. Infirmary Health representatives say the State Health Department will release some more information regarding the infected person who was screened and tested at North Baldwin Infirmary. We are still waiting for that confirmation. The University of South Alabama is serving students living on campus with a notice to vacate. The school announced that all dorms will close Monday at 5 in the evening. If you have special circumstances that could prevent you from getting what you need, the school says to reach out. That information is on the website and our website too. An update to public schools in Mobile County. Facilities are shutting down Thursday, but kids who miss Monday through Wednesday will not be punished. School Superintendent Cressel Threadgill is asking parents whose children miss school to get makeup work by Friday. Threadgill also says while the schools are closed, parents will be able to call a hotline if they need help with online education. The school system is also working on setting up meal locations, meal locations for children who will miss out on food during the closures. The Archdiocese of Mobile says Catholic schools will also close for two and a half weeks. Feeding the Gulf Coast says it is working to make sure Kids do get fed during the coronavirus school closure. The food bank tells Fox 10 News that they're working with existing child nutrition partners. They're trying to develop a plan to make sure that children in our area continue to get fed. Well, howdy there, folks. I'm meteorologist Matt Barron. Todd, we're looking at a beautiful day for our Sunday, very similar to what we saw for our Saturday. It will be a little bit of fog around in the morning. Temperatures will be comfortable here as we go through the morning, then warming up to the upper 70s by lunchtime. Here's what it looks like by the afternoon. We're talking well up into the 80s, so it's going to be a warm day, well above the averages. Not quite record territory, but pretty warm nonetheless. As you see 83 in Mobile, 80 Pensacola, 86 in Bruton. It's going to be a little cooler down by the water where you nice, have a nice little breeze off the cooler water. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 70s down along our local beaches. Here's your planner for your Sunday evening. Looks pretty good. Temperatures will be in the 70s here as we head towards sunset right at 7 o'clock this evening and then temperatures will drop back off into the upper 60s as we head on into the night. So it's going to be another warm one. I guess you have a chance to take out the boat. It's going to be a nice day. It's a little cooler on the water. Uh, light chop on the protected bays. Seas two feet and we'll have high tides late in the afternoon. Here's your planner. Takes you on into the upcoming work week and uh, temperatures in the morning down around 60 degrees. Uh, at the afternoons, it'll be around 80 degrees. So it's going to continue to be quite warm as we go through this upcoming week. Of course, Tuesday is St. Patrick's Day. We'll have a few scattered showers returning by them. None of them will be all that heavy. And uh, spring actually springs on Thursday. It'll be the first official day of spring. And the funny thing is we're going to be really warm ahead of that. And then we go past past it and uh, after Friday things will cool back off because we'll have a front coming through uh, also turn a bit uh, wetter as well with some showers likely as we head into next weekend and the following week highs only in the 60s at your forecast. Thank you for joining us here on Fox 10 News. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.